how are you? This is Jaime, Last Tension Warrior. Hey, I just got back from New Zealand. It was a great, great trip. I want to thank everybody over there, Craig and Craig Andrews and Tall Craig Patterson and uh, everyone that went to the seminar, everyone that participated, a great group of guys, and I really feel very honored to have these guys in New Zealand be a part of what we're doing here at Tension Dojo. Um, and that's basically what they are. This is Tension Dojo in New Zealand. And uh, we have Tension, Tension Dojo Chico um, in Sacramento. And <clears throat> that name, uh, Sensei Stevens, I know Sensei let me use that name. Um, when I went and visited, I didn't really have a name at the time. He says, you can use my name and so on and so forth. So uh, that's what I've been doing. And I have all these people that uh, want to be a part of our school. So I'm just implementing my dojo there and helping these guys uh, grow and they're enthusiastic over there and uh, we had so much so much fun uh, great people uh, great great people at the seminar some of the people there are just absolutely fabulous uh, great group of guys and I'm looking forward to going back again uh, hopefully I think we might think about going back in December so uh, great great stuff uh, but anyways I wanted to show you a quick video uh, a few different things that we're doing uh, today, what we're doing in class today. So, uh, Kevin, come on up here, Kevin. This is Kevin Miranda. You guys seen him get thrown around a few different times. Uh, we're going to do stuff from Katate, from Katate Tori. So, we're here. We're just going to come back into Tanikyo. Here. And, as, as, and what's happening is that I'm going to pull him towards me this way in a circular motion. The same thing if we're coming back this way, I'm going to pull him and I'm gonna come back in here. I, I'm not gonna come in like this. You know, Sensei's never ever done that. Every time I grab Sensei, he was always out here like this, like that, have his hands out. Um, and so this is kind of what I'm teaching. So he's coming here, I move, okay? So we're moving in this direction here. From this position, I'm keeping my hands up, and I'm gonna end up applying the knee cue, uh, uh, Yubi Tori in this position here. And from here, obviously, we can strike, do all kinds of different, different stuff. But it's really about getting into this knee heel and right away getting in, into here. Okay? I can also grab the fingers and come back down this way. Cross hand grab is the same thing. I'm drawing him into knee heel. Right away, I roll this over, and I'm out into this position here. Other side. I'm bringing him in, knee heel. Turning this over right away, trapping the foot, coming back into this section, and then being able to move. Okay? Making sure that I'm in a position to be able to do that. Again, moving here into this position. Okay? I'm here. I can strike. Oya Yubi Tori. Whatever I decide to do. The other thing uh, from this position from Katate is we're here, we're cutting. Here, cutting, just getting into this, this position, being able to get in. Again, we can come to this. So, really quickly with the Kemi part, and this is one of the things I want to really stress here, Kevin's going to be back kind of to the, to the video so that you can see how I'm attacking. Uh, so often when we're going to do katate, other schools or other, you know, other people are doing this, he puts a hand out, this is the attack. Your person's attention is to this. They're not really focusing here. What we do, we're just here like this. You know, if we're going to come in and we're going to punch, but my attention is right here. I don't need to look at the hand. I know where it's at. I'm here, okay? The same thing for, for cross hand grab. He puts his hands up on some of those. Here, I'm not gonna go like this, and I'm, stop, I'm not gonna stop my body. I'm gonna continue momentum a little bit to make him move, because then he has to understand movement. So I come, I'm after him this way, okay? I'm looking at him. I'm not gonna just go here and then kind of just stop. We're doing everything on momentum up at this position here. And I'm going to him at this point here, and whatever technique he applies, then I apply my ukemi so that I don't, so I can be able to move and do whatever I need to do. Uh, the same thing with grabbing, we're gonna grab the shoulders. I'm grabbing here, I'm just grabbing. My whole job is just to grab here. That's all it's job, my job is to do. It's not to 
do the ukemi, if you ever do a koki, do I go this way or that way? Everybody always are attached to the outcome. So if I'm attacking him, I'm already gonna want to take my ukemi. And that's not what the situation, the situation is my job is to do my job, period. It's just to grab him. It's not to take ukemi, okay, say if we're doing kokis. It's not to do that. It's just, just to grab from here. Uh, just do half of so I'm not all the way. So my job is just to come right to him. Boom. And because he cuts and he throws at this point, now I move so that I can take my ukemi. I don't decide as an uke which way I go. My job again is here. If I decide which way, that means I'm attached to the outcome. And that hasn't even happened. My job is to go right for him and then I, and then I move, okay? The same thing also applies to this. If I'm gonna grab his hand, uh, he's gonna do kosodori, if he's gonna do a nikyo, and I know it hurts, <laughs> techniques hurt at times, and people get attached to that outcome because they know it's gonna hurt, so they already come here to grab it, and they're gonna go down, or they're thinking about the hand, so we're gonna go this way so they can see it from the camera. My job, uh, I'm gonna go attack that hand, okay? My job again is to go towards him, so as he moves, boom, I'm going towards him, but what I'm not gonna do is I'm not thinking of this grab. I'm thinking of grabbing him. I've, never, I've, I've seen people do this and do this in fights. The person had a hand that tried to stop someone, and the person tried to get the hand of this away so they can throw a punch. Um, so when people say, oh, no one's gonna grab your wrist, you know, I've seen this a few times. So this does happen, and I grew up in, a, in an area a lot of people fight. Okay, and it's just, they will grab this so they can just bring someone in and pull, or I've seen this a lot of times here, and punching, because they're just trying to go grab, they're grabbing, if someone gets something, they're not gonna let go, they're gonna keep on grabbing, keep on punching, they're gonna use that. So your hands are up, you're, they're coming, this is why we're here, and we're extended. Don't get crowded, I see a lot of people doing this, getting crowded, they're, that's something a little different. I do, uh, uh, thing with my elbow down at times here, that if you're gonna come in, then I'll be able to get this. But what I wanna be able to do is just from here, just stay, just stay extended. Extended, and always be in a position to where you're to the outside. I always wanna be in this position here, in this angle. That's, that's where I, eventually where I, wanna, where I wanna be. So we're here, I'm drawing him in from here again. And obviously we're not gonna stay here for very long. I'm only doing this for the purpose of this video, but I'm here, switching, moving, or I'm here, cutting, moving, whatever I'm doing. I always wanna make sure that I'm out to the outside, here. Okay, and, and if I do bring him up, then I'm using the whole throw. The other thing with, uh, for instance, from a, from a punch, when I do this, I'm gonna have my hands up. I'm not gonna be here, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I wanna make sure my hands are up. And I am gonna at least lean slightly into that from here, because my, my hands are up, he's not gonna hit me. Now, don't punch, okay? But I'm not gonna do that and lean in like this, because then he will hit me. But I will lean in a little bit like this, so that I can get in or do whatever it is I need to do. But my hands need to be up, they need to be ready, because at this, at this distance, if he can kick really fast, there's no way that I'm gonna defend against this by keeping my hands down, okay? For training purposes, if we're just punching, then maybe you can get away with it, but if you're serious, the guy was serious about attacking, and he's just gonna either kick or punch, you, may, you have a better chance by having your hands moving, getting them ready, whatever you need to do, because then you can cover, you can cover, you can do all this different stuff. So make sure that when you're doing this, come about that angle here, okay, uh, other hand, okay. So your hands are up, go slow. You're here, give yourself time, okay. Keep, get used to keeping your hands up. If it feels awkward, then that's something you need to work on. Don't worry about all this technique. Work on keeping your hands up. In my last video, was specifically about that. There's times where you can drop your hands, that's okay. For the most part though, work on keeping them up, getting comfortable having them up, up here, uh, rather than down here. 
And I, I just would never advise to do that. I know some people punch me <laughs> or kick or whatever you want to do. Keep your hands up. I would never do that. Just keep them, keep your hands up and keep them, keep them moving. You know, when you get really, really, really super good, which, you know, I think a lot of people have yet to get there, um, I would, maybe you could have your hands down, but you know, keep them up. Keep working on that. So again, from the punch, we're here, and I just move. That's all I need to do. Just get this, get this in there. And this evasion, go slowly, is very, very simple. It's just eating me, entering, as I showed you in the video with the evasion from here, he's grabbing. It's just understanding that idea. And that in itself takes a long, 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 long time to develop that, to implement that into other, other things that, um, from punches and from Yoko Minuchi and things like that. So um, I wanted to put this video out because people always ask me, where do you, how do you have your hands and stuff like that? And you're just here, just, just, just here from the ground. Just like this. Now, if you understand Taino Hanko from here, if you understand that, then you, then you understand, then you don't have to do this from here, okay? Because you, you can already do that. You can get the same thing by doing this and getting in there. I don't have to be like this. I just want to be this nice and relaxed. That's all I want to do. Everything, everything I do is just nice, just nice and relaxed. Here, I'm not going to be out like this. Just nice and relaxed. Whatever he wants to do, he can do. Okay, my hands are up. My hands are moving. I go katate. My hands are here. I go kosadori. My hands are here. Nice. Everything's nice and relaxed. I'm not all tense, tensed up. So I hope that helps. Hope that answers um, your guys' questions. And uh, you know, everything we do, we're, we're just demonstrating stuff. You know, so many people get so attached to. They thinking like, oh well, someone comes after you, real. How are you going to do that? Those people ask those questions like that. They know nothing about fighting. They've never been in anything. I, by just by answer, by saying that question, you can just tell. The thing is, is that most people that I think that maybe put out videos. There's a lot of people that put out videos. They're just demonstrating stuff. That's all we're doing, showing you some possibilities, and all these things get manifested into something more when we put more dynamics into it. Sure, you know, we, do, we show a technique. It, it looks different if we have someone really attacking or, or really going to try to take you down or whatever that may be. It's different. When the dynamics comes in a certain way, you adjust. Okay? You go really slowly, you adjust. You go medium speed, you adjust. You go super fast, you adjust. You go ballistic and crazy, trying to, you adjust. That's all it is. All I'm doing is showing you a foundation, and even so, I'm not showing you the full foundation of certain things. I leave that for my students. Here in this video, I'm just going to give you a little idea of what we're doing uh, in Aikido, which is just Aikido. It's not Tenshin Aikido. It's just Aikido. Okay? Tenshin Dojo. This is my school in Russia, in, in New Zealand, in uh, Venezuela, and a few other places. It's just Aikido, period. Okay? Interpretation what Osensei did, what, I, what Aikido is. So um, Sensei and I talked about this about three weeks ago, and uh, it's just Aikido people. So uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, please share the video if you like it, if you think it's worthy of being shared, and definitely subscribe. And uh, I've got a few different things I'm going to share with you guys uh, next week or the following week on some other um, topics people ask me about too. So thank you for watching. See you next time.